Hey there F2 peers, it's Goodfellow here from F2P.com and today we are checking out a world of fishing from developers Mansangsoft. Uh, it is a fishing simulator MMO free to play. Uh, I think it might only be available for Windows, but uh, I don't know, check out the website, I can't remember. Um, so you log in, you make a character and in all honesty it's not worth going through the character creation. You get a few options, you get a few different facial features, we've gone for a <laughs> rather young looking in all honesty but grey haired silver fox that's pretty ripped you know I think he spends his time um, split between going fishing and hitting the gym um, so like a lot of other fishing games um, you have your character you are basically working towards building up gear uh, and improving your equipment and whatnot so let's have a look what we've got so we've got our character this is what we currently look like, it's what we're wearing. You have your own dinghy, so you get various boats and stuff. So you've got a water tank, a well-known fishing rod by Smart Leisure Company. It is used for both fishing from rocks or boats. It is made of a special glass, so it is powerful but heavy. So you've got uh, fishing reels, fishing lines, baits, then you can get hooks and paste bait. I think they're both consumables. But you can get various equipment and items and stuff pretty much from the shop. Um, so yeah, you can get a bit of an idea. So we'll go with clothing. So you can get different hats and stuff. Cheeky Fedora Man. And they're not just for cosmetic, they do give you some abilities as well. Um, slightly increases strength when equipped. And all that kind of stuff. But as it stands, we've just been kind of playing around and uh, checking out the game. So this is a first look, obviously. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to show you the, the general premise of how the game works. You have two modes, freestyle and versus mode. So, fight against other players to catch the biggest or the most fish. Um, so that's team match versus mode. And then that is just chilling out. Pretty much trying to catch fish for your collection. There are quests, um, but... They, you know, they, they don't really do that much. They generally just take you to different areas uh, of the world and things like that. So, um, there you go. You've got your different... Oh, wait, we can't actually check these other ones out. But this is where we're at at the moment. Here's your one. Um, and it's got different zones within it. Um, there you go. And you can catch different fish in different type of zones. There you go. So, spotted sea bass, red sea bream. So they're the kind of key fish. Um, so you've got Huanghun Hondo and Jijudo. I'm pretty sure I don't. I was nowhere near pronouncing that one. Oh, let's go for. Can I actually go to Jijudo? So it's level to one to five. Five. Let's try and catch a lionfish. These look quite cool in comparison to the ones. So I'm just gonna go quick join. Oh, there's no room to quick join. Okay. Oh, so I have to make a room. Uh, okay, let's make a room. Sure. Room name. Work for it. Great. So you go. Me on my own at the moment. And I'm, I'm just gonna head off. And 10,000 shell will be deducted. Okay, go for it. Ridiculous. So, um, let's talk as we go. Graphics wise, that looks quite poor. But this looks okay. The water's nice. I mean, given that the main part of the game is gonna be water, <laughs> it's kind of important. And um, so it looks like it's a pretty closed off area. Look at that guy. He's ready, ready to go. Um, so you got a little map, you got some waterways and stuff. Oh, let's go this way. Fishing point was changed. Let's head out into the sea. So you can fish from different places. I've not actually checked out the rocks. Cause it says you can fish in the sea or off rocks, but I've not actually experienced fishing off rocks. So I don't know whether it's something you can choose to do, but anyway. Let's just get past here and then I'll show you some stuff. Um, yeah, so just WASD movement at the moment to uh, move everything around. Oh, okay. So the edge of the map. Well, that was a trick, wasn't it? Well, whatever. Let's just go for it here. So. Here we go. I'm gonna kind of try and walk through it as I go. So we cast. Oh, the fish don't respond to this bait. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, so that's why it's saying that. 
Oh, I'm probably gonna have to go to the other the other area. Damn it. What about these ones? No. Ah, okay. Well, we'll see. So that's what happens. So you will cast your line in, then you can hit an underwater camera and kind of see what's going on. And apparently the fish here don't respond to this bait. It's necessary to change the bait and cast again. So, there you go. Boing! Broke it off. And um, So I guess we're going to have to leave. I'm going to have to go to a different, uh, different room. And that's the fish wiki, which isn't what we're after. How do we actually leave a room? Can't remember. Um, menu. Let's go to... No. I can't even remember how I leave. I'm stuck in here forever. A sudden mission. That's that's not here though. Um, I don't know now. I wonder if I can just try somewhere else while I look for the. Uh, so mailbox, friend lists, quests. There you go. So you can check your quests and stuff. That's the quest I've got off this guy. There you go. Completed that one. Just let someone catch stuff. It's easy enough. Um, right, okay. Well, I actually can't remember how I get back. Quest? No. No. Okay, well, obviously I'm not going to be able to catch any fish on this one. So, um, I'm going to have to just pause it there for a moment. How ridiculous is this? Yeah, okay. Fine. Fine. Make me... I'm pretty sure I've wasted shells as well to come and do this. Um. Okay. Well, this might exit the game, so... Ah, oh, no, it's not. Okay. So it's just exiting that one. Super. Okay. Let's jump in this one, then. No. So that's the one we've been in before. I can't quick join because there's no room, so I'm going to make a room. Okay, let's just start. Okay, so you don't have to pay anything for this one. There we go. Sudden mission, thread, sail, file, fish, two. I think that was a bit of a, an, an error there. Okay. So I'm not going to mess about here now because I'm wasting plenty of time. Um, Fish and potion. Yeah, yeah, I want to cast. Okay, so once you hit cast, you get to choose where you want to cast to. Close is better, I imagine. Don't think it makes much of a difference. Uh, okay, so you don't have to do this, but you can monitor it. Oh, we've got some fish floating about, so we might get a bite soon. And when they do, you're going to see uh, a window pop up here, which will show our float. You have to be very patient with the fishing game. I mean, if, if you're playing a fishing game, I presume you like fishing. And if you like fishing, well, you're probably already quite a patient person. I oh that dude is just so coming for this. He's like I saw that from miles away and I want some of this. I want some of this good stuff. Here it comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming into it. There we go. So he's got it. So when the float goes under, push. I have to snatch the line. So you ready? 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 Before he just eats all Got him, yeah. And depending on um, how uh, on how well you time it, oh, I'm gonna get this so quickly. There you go. Well, that was it. That happened so quickly that I didn't actually get the chance to tell you anything. So when uh, it it pops up, you use your left mouse button to reel in, and you've got to balance keeping tension on the line. If you put too much tension on the line, then um. Then your line snaps and your fish gets away. Um, but you've got to keep it tense because the, the more tense the line is, it basically keeps it makes the the fish fatigued. So that's kind of what you're after. And you've got to tire the fish out. So you get some fish with like a really big fish, like conger eels, and they'll have like you know two or three or more um, uh, bars that you have to kind of deplete. So we can do stuff like a strike, or a swing I think it's called, which I'll try and show you next time, and it depletes your own stamina. So, let's go. 
Alright, I'll see some fish around there. See if any of them are biting. Looks like there's quite a few. They're all just flown away. Flown away, they don't fly. Fish don't fly away. Good fellow, that's a ridiculous thing to say. Oh! Then we've got a candidate. Oh, we've got two! This looks like a. I don't know, a skate, maybe? There we go. Oh, that was a good one. So, there we go. Now I'm reeling in. I've got to keep that tension. And you can control my boat as well. Ah, that was a, that was a bad strike. Oh, okay. And a bad strike again. There we go. That was a swing. So we got it then. But I can't do it again. But you can have, like, um, food and drink and stuff to replenish your stamina. But yeah, if I go into the red, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let's see, let's watch it snap. It might not actually. He's getting away. I'm just gonna keep it in the red because I've never actually snapped one because I'm such a pro fisherman. Boink! There you go. That's what happens. And what it got away? So it was a fin-spotted flounder that got away. If you use a retry coupon, you continue fighting. No, I'm good. So that's what happens when you get too much tension on your line. Let's have a look before we cast in. Don't think it necessarily matters. I've got quite a few of them floating about over there. Come on. Come on. Let's get a flipper spotted flounder. Oh, I don't know it was. So yeah, so in freestyle mode, you know, we're in here for two hours. Just some leisurely sailing around and fishing and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's hundreds of fish to actually catch. No, which is cool if you're into that. Oh, I missed that. Oh, that's whatever. I still catch it, I just don't do any damage on it. So, yeah. So, I've got to just keep letting go of the left mouse one. Oh, this one's coming up in, like, no, no problem. Boom. Done. It's nothing. That was a half beak. So, you've got to put it in your water tank. And your water tank can fill up and stuff like that. Let's head further out. I think I'm just catching loads of tiddlers here. I want to catch me a shark. I don't know if I can catch a shark. At least not on this boat. I don't know where I put it. I don't think it'd fit in my, uh, my water bucket. Da -da -da -da. So I'm just going to drive around. See if we see any dips. Stuff like that. So you got this over here. That's Heather. Every so often it tells me about updating my thingy for fish. But I never really seem to see it. So far I've only had like one pretty cool battle. Fishing point was changed. Please check fish information. A present point using the guide. Yeah, I tell you what, how about we just don't? How about we just cast this in here now? And then we use that. There we go. Let's have a little look underwater. Check it out. Oh way hey, up. He looks like a tiddler. Oh, you look like a good one. You come over here. Got quite a few of them around. One over there, one over there. Oh, I think we've got a contender going straight for it. Are you a tiddler? Oh, you look quite big. Ooh. Could be a good one, this. Oh, doesn't It doesn't seem very receptive sometimes. Let's, let's try and get this time. There we go. Let's just go for it. What have we got? Ah, tiddler. So yeah, between these two arrows is like the best place that you want it. Oh no! A hair tail. That was ridiculous. There was no tension. And the fish got away. Poor show, good fellow. Poor show. Okay, I'm going to go for one last uh, attempt. And then that's, that's pretty much it. That's kind of... All been checking over all the different gear and stuff, but... I mean, it's just hats and stuff. You can get from different boats. You get like like proper speed boats instead of these dingy things. And you can collect. You know, you can check out your collection. See all the ones I've caught previously. You got different fish in different regions. Oh, here we go. We've got one of them flat ones again. Let's go. Boom! Good one. Yeah, you 
you think you're getting away? I got you this time. I got you this time. Stop, stop sailing towards me. There we go. Stunned. Boom. You are mine. You are going to be on my plate. There we go. Bit of fine, fine spotted flounder. Flounder. Too great. It's rubbish on them. So, there you go. That's pretty much everything you need to know about world of fishing. Now, I will say that you have to like fishing games because there isn't there isn't much else to it I mean, it's, it's kind of nice it's casual and you do, you do get like in the zone and everybody's competing with each other or just chatting to each other so if you like um if you like fishing and you like kind of social chat rooms and stuff then it's not a bad little option to be honest you know you just sit here you know you could even have a, a, a can of, of mountain dew of course cracked open on your desk have a little chat away with people whilst doing a bit of fishing. What better way to spend your day, you know, I mean, going fishing in real life would, I guess, would probably be better. But not if you don't like going outside. So, there you go. That is pretty much World of Fishing for you. Uh, I hope you found the video useful. hope you found it enjoyable. hope I brought everything to this first look video that you could ever want from it. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, then give us a thumbs up and uh, all that good stuff. And if you subscribe to the channel, then you will find more of our videos as and when they come. And uh, we do lots of first look stuff on beta, alpha testing, and new games coming out all the time. And we will be the first ones to check them all your F2P news. You can also check us out on F2P.com to find out all about our latest news reviews and giveaways. So thank you guys for watching. I have been Goodfellow. You have been you. This has been World of Fishing. And hopefully we shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.